This week we are going to perform contrasted pieces. We are going to start the concert with a piece by Jesse Montgomery, Afro-American composer, called Hymn for Unity. Then a piece by Unsung Shing from South Korea. It's a concerto for a very special instrument you will hear later about and an orchestra. And we'll do the second part with the Brahms Second Symphony, continuing our cycle. We're going to start the concert with a hymn for Unity by Montgomery. I really wanted to, to play her music and during the season uh, we will have several pieces like this, giving strong symbols. This piece, written by the Afro-American Jessie, whom I know and I have performed pieces by her already in America, is a meditation and gives us by its simplicity the sense like how it could be the world if we were all singing together. So it's a very simple piece, even a little bit of monotony in it, but you, you get into it and then because it's always the same for a bit less than 10 minutes, then it provokes a meditation in the way of playing for us and in the way of listening. It's a beautiful piece and when I see of Jessie's aspiration, her role in America at the moment, and how it could impact all this piece, uh, orchestra and public. I think it's going to be a very strong start. It's a Chinese sheng, S-H-E-N-G, Chinese mouse organ. And in China, already uh, more than 3,000 years. It, it was appeared in the, um, our uh, book in so 11th century BC. So already in this, have this instrument. You look at that, it's kind of like a, a small organ. You know, I think it's the oldest bamboo organ from the world, our world. This instrument in the 7th century come to uh, Korea, then later come to Japan. It's in Korea called uh, Sun Huang, in Japan called Shu. And in 17th century, come to Europe. So, uh, in St. Petersburg, someone, an instrument maker, in spite about this instrument, then building later uh, Montamonica, accordion, and also some register of the church organ is also from this instrument. If you study accordion, they have a family tree. The oldest, the first, uh, it's Chinese sheng. This is mouse piece. If you blow inside, outside, make the air and there each pipe inside, you will see each pipe inside, they have one reed, free reed. See, the so free reed, that is a red point. You can make tuning with that. It's make, made by beam wax. wax. So you put much more and then we'll uh, lower the sound. Uh, you take a little out, then maybe higher. So I put inside, that is, Resonant, just resonato. So if you push the hole, any hole of them, blowing the instrument, then produce the sound.
And about Thai play, it's kind of modern one. Before 30 years, my professor, Wang Zhengfa, he have uh, the idea of multiplicate um, of the traditional one. You will see the hole, always the hole, it's traditional fingering. And then he ordered, added the key to make a much more uh, pitch. Uh, originally only diatonic, and now it's chromatic. So you have three octave from G3 to G6. That is the instrument. So you can play melody, you can play cluster, you can play chord, polyphony, yeah, what you want. At the first, this piece, the name is Su. Su is come from Egypt uh, language, uh, means Air, because the composer, uh, Ong Suk Ching, she's so great, she uh, don't want to wrote one piece just uh, like uh, much more uh, folklore messy, uh, direction. He want to just uh, to exploration, uh, explore something like uh, air. So the idea is a sheng, it's a small organ and an orchestra, also big organ. So how much together, it's one bigger chunk uh, together. So uh, it's a very exciting piece. You from start very quietly, like a very, very uh, far sound, like a dream, and start uh, and went with the colors, and late come to the uh, dance, and uh, let it come to the exciting moment. And then come to back to the very quiet. It's a very uh, fantastic music. I, can, I think it cannot be, 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 be described uh, with the word. On Sunday, I will um, premiere the piece from Raphael, very talented uh, composer, young composer from Brazil. This piece, it's uh, a lot of fantasy, a lot of rhythmic, and uh, you, you have the drive if you're beginning from first moment until end for the piece. I think uh, more than 10 minutes uh, the piece. Uh, very exciting, a lot of dancing inside, a lot of exciting moment, uh, accent direction, and also very beautiful melody inside. <laughs> I'm very exciting. Sou Rafael Amaral, compositor da obra Danças Imaginárias nas Águas do Forró. Vai ser executado agora no concerto de câmara nesse domingo aqui na Sala São Paulo. A obra se iniciou com o meu interesse pela música folclórica, não só brasileira, mas também asiática. E isso que me levou ao contato com o Wei, que é esse magnífico instrumentista do Sheng, esse instrumento tradicional da cultura chinesa. E a riqueza não só do instrumento, mas da musicalidade do Wu Wei me inspirou a fazer alguma ponte com o estilo musical que eu sou apaixonado, que é o forró, que eu tive a sorte de ter experiência tocando por uns anos. E trazer isso junto ao quarteto de cordas era quase que um sonho. Em 2022, eu tive a oportunidade de conhecer ele. O Wu Wei tem um ensemble dele em Berlim. E foi lá que eu trabalhei com ele, junto com esse ensemble, e foi uma experiência sensacional, ele com os outros músicos. E a partir daí que a gente sentiu uma conexão do que eu escrevi, com a maneira como ele toca, ah, acho que 
nasceu daí a ideia de fazer uma parceria. Brahms' second symphony is radically different than the first one we did last week. As you know, I don't like putting words on music, but I, I, I make an effort. <laughs> I would say if one word for Brahms' symphony is melancholy. It's a piece which is uh, starting like a dream. Immediately after one and a half minute music, you have announcements from Tim Penny and trombones that something is going to happen. So it's not as pure, as beautiful as the first melodies uh, are announcing. I think in this symphony he found his style, rehearsing the first symphony. It's more himself, it's very much written like chamber music. Um, the third movement, for example, is something he did a lot in chamber music. It's almost like a Slavonic dance by Dvorak, for example, or very enjoyable, absolutely no-brainer, nothing complicated, beautiful, some variations in the middle of the strings, and woodwinds opening. And the last movement is triumph, like Jupiter Symphony or, or Richard Strauss, uh, Don Juan is really terrific in, in, in the amount of joy it brings.